Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Astronaut and I am super, super excited to be able to bring you guys another Mortal Kombat 11 related video. And I just wanna send out a quick shout out to all of the people who decided to join the discussion over my live streams. Um, I just started doing live streams over the past few days and to my surprise, they've done amazingly well. I'm surprised. Um, I kinda did, the, did them on a fluke because I just noticed the record button on my YouTube app on my phone so I decided to just go ahead and click it and just see see what happens, see if anyone shows up. And sure enough, a few people kind of trickled in and we got into some really good conversations. A few people actually subscribed. So if you're watching this, definitely know that I'm gonna continue to pump out the Mortal Kombat 11 content and I'm also gonna keep doing the live stream on various topics dealing with Mortal Kombat 11, Dragon Ball, maybe even some Street Fighter stuff, maybe some, uh, even there might be some Final Fantasy stuff because Dissida is, uh, I'm sorry, Dissidia is gonna be coming out fairly soon. All right guys, so let's go ahead and talk about what um, this video is all about. Um, in this video, I want to discuss a an, ev an evolved form of friendship. And what I mean by that is, um, I already think that Mortal Kombat is heading in the direction of more emotional gaming or an emotional, more emotional story mode. And not just Mortal Kombat, but if you've noticed, a lot of uh, the fighting games have started to uh, incorporate more emotion and more emotional relationships into the story mode. And it kind of ends up kind of really grabbing you and bringing you in. A lot of the story modes for a lot of the fighting games are starting to really take on the format of a, of, of a movie where you have highs and lows, moments where you're excited, moments where you're sad, moments where you're, you know, kind of caught in limbo over what's about to happen next. And so because of this next evolution of the fighting game story modes, um, I think a lot of what I have to say about this whole evo evolved form of friendships goes right hand in hand with the direction that a lot of these fighting games are already going in. What I'm about to say about the evolved forms of friendship goes directly hand in hand with uh, Mortal Kombat because in Mortal Kombat X, Netherrealm introduced us to more complex relationships in three primary categories. We have more complex friendships, we had more, compl more complex family relationships, and we had more complex romantic relationships. The romantic area, we had Liu Kang and Katana, who clearly were going through, they had some tension there, but they were clearly still bonded in their relationship with one another. They introduced uh, Johnny Cage and Sonya Blade as having um, uh, been together, had a child, and then gotten divorced, but were trying to kind of work through their differences. So there was definitely a complicated relationship with that, very complex. And then we also had Jackie Briggs, along with Takeda, who were kind of having a new, uh, you know, flourishing relationship, kind of like young love kind of going on with that. And then we had more complicated uh, family relationships where we saw father-son like with Kenshi and Takeda. We saw father-daughter like with uh, Cassie and Johnny Cage and then also uh, Jackie Briggs and Jax Briggs. And then we also saw a uh, mother-daughter with Cassie Cage and with Sonya Blade. So we got introduced to a, a complex set of family relationships as well. Last category, we got introduced to um, well, not necessarily introduced, but we saw a resurfacing of some very strong uh, friendships. So Liu Kang and Kung Lao have always had a very strong relationship with each other. Um, Sonya Blade and Jax kind of have a very strong camaraderie relationship with each other. Um, let's see, uh, Cassie and Jackie had a very strong camaraderie relationship with each other. Well, and also we saw that um, Scorpion and Sub-Zero finally made amends in Mortal Kombat X and put to rest an issue that had been going on for ever since the beginning of Mortal Kombat. Uh, back in 1990, was is that when they kicked off? So over, for over three decades of a feud going on between two of them, and they finally um, kind of made amends. And so, so that kind of introduced us to a more complex relationship between um, Sub-Zero and Scorpion, now having a friendship rather than having that animosity between the two of them. So guys, this is kind of my idea that I want to propose to people. And give me your feedback. Make sure you leave a comment below. But what I think um, Netherum needs to do for Mortal Kombat 11, I think they need to introduce a new friendship system, but don't call it friendship because that term is kind of outdated. And I think it needs to be something a little deeper than that. Um, um, what what I'm getting at is I think they need to introduce what's called the amends system That's what I'm gonna call it now that we have these complicated relationships going on Sometimes it really doesn't make sense for all of the rounds to always end in a fatality Especially if you have like Cassie Cage going up against her mother or if you have Kenshi going up against his son If you have Katana going up against her her boyfriend or her lover Liu Kang going up against Kung Lao, I think there needs to be more options available to finish the round instead of killing your opponents because we have a lot of complex relationships going on and this could be an opportunity that Netherrealm could take to show exactly how complex these uh, characters are and their relationships with one another. 
So I was thinking of introducing something called the amend system, which would allow uh, characters to end the round in somewhat of a friendship situation, but the amends would take it a little deeper so that at the end of the round when it said finish him, if let's say you're playing Liu Kang up against Kung Lao, if you choose to do like make amends, then that would mean that you would go over, help your friend up, or we can see Liu Kang help uh, Kung Lao up, say some words back and forth that are encouraging toward one another and they help each other, you know, off the, uh, you know, walk off the step. Or, you know, we could see like Cassie Cage going up against her mother and then it says finish her and then she does an amends where she goes up and she helps her mother up or her mother could come and help her up and um, they could have a little joking moment, share a little bond and, um, you know, and kind of have a, a showing of mutual respect between the two combatants. And likewise, if we were to see perhaps Katana going up against Liu Kang and Kat or Liu Kang going up against Katana, um, in Mortal Kombat X, they already introduced um, em em more emotions into the battle when you know did y'all notice during the intro sometimes when Liu Kang would be going up against Katana one of the intros went along the lines of I think uh, Liu Kang was like you know I really don't want to do this and Katana's like why are you afraid I'm gonna win and then Liu Kang says no I'm afraid I'm gonna win and that's very deep that's very very deep because he's showing his affection he's showing his emotion for her he's showing his care and concern for her and that he really does not want to hurt her so i think it would be really great to show an amends if you're like Liu kang going up against katana and you could choose a make amends option at the end of the round that goes over to her and maybe picks her up and then they it can show more depth in their relationship as him being her boyfriend the type who's very protective and who actually wants to take care of her versus wanting to harm or kill her i think that would be great to really get gamers more involved and help us to become more educated about these personal relationships that most of the time we only find out about in the story mode from watching their dialogue with one another but if we were to be given the opportunity to have these this amend system introduced where friends can approach other friends and you know help them up and talk to them and they can show or share a joke and you know maybe make some references to some past uh, incidences that have that's happened in past Mortal Kombat games bring up some past history between the two of them that would really I think allow the gamers to come in and like love those characters even more and they would become even more you know heroic to us because we would see them as being a little more human. Also guys, this whole concept isn't entirely off base given the fact that um, um, you know, Mortal Kombat is all based on martial arts. And if you notice, whenever anyone is training in a martial arts, whether it's uh, karate or jujitsu or um, what kung fu, whatever they're doing, um, there's you know there's a lot of sparring that happens between two uh, two friends and so even they even though they are combating and they're fighting one another at the end of the round they always return to their position of respect and they return to that position of being equals with one another and having that mutual respect for another so I feel like the whole amends idea between friends between lovers between uh, you know between uh, family members is very much hand in hand with the whole martial arts idea especially given Given the fact that the entire Mortal Kombat game is based on the practice of martial arts. And honestly guys, we could take this a step further because I think it would be really interesting if they didn't allow for there to be an amends with every character, but only allow there to be an amends when there is a relationship between the two individuals or the two characters. Um, and maybe even surprise us with there being maybe some surprise amends that might be offered between two characters that to our knowledge they have no history between the two between each other but by them having an amends to be offered to the other character that might help us that might clue us into something going on between those two characters that might not have been shown in the story mode or might be kind of leading us forward into what might eventually develop or what we might see happen between these two characters moving onward just for example um i don't know about you guys but i thought it was really interesting the interactions between melina and tanya um i know in the story mode it did explain that tanya was the one who freed Melina from her prison so quite naturally you would think that that would create some sort of bond with the two of them but you know when you're dealing with another realm that's not always the case so anyway so if you're Melina and you ever go up against Tanya the intro dialogue actually shows there to be some sort of like friendship between the two of them and it's really interesting because you actually get a chance to see a softer side of Melina I don't know if y'all paid attention to the intros between those two but if you haven't go back and do like um uh the um single fight option and choose those two and fight and see exactly what they talk about because Melina kind of opens up and lets her guards down and she goes beloved Tanya or she'll say you know dearest Tanya and this is like the first time ever since you know Melina has stepped on the stage that we actually saw a softer side to Melina 
you know melina is always like conniving and you know always trying to out for blood and bloodthirsty and hungry and eating people and doing all this stuff but whenever tanya walks up all of a sudden her demeanor changed and we see her actually let down her guards and then she you know begins to dialogue with her and you know um uh, tanya comes up to her and she says melina Conum," and then uh melina says i love it when you use my full title and then tanya says enough formalities so, you know, so there, that was really emotional right there because we don't normally see Melina in a very emotional state of mind. We see her in a very frantic, psychotic, um, rage-filled, violent attitude. But when she's talking to T uh, Tanya, she actually lets her guard down and she becomes a little softer, a little more emotional and actually shows there to be some sort of respect for Tanya letting her, uh, freeing her out. So that's interesting. Anyway, so I brought that up all to say that sometimes in these intros between two characters and if they were to introduce the amends system between certain characters, maybe not all, it sometimes could possibly give the gamer an opportunity to see bonds and connections with people that we didn't even know existed outside of what, uh, outside of the relationships that we already knew had been established through the storyline. Also, one really cool thing about using the amend system, um, if Netherrealm were to do something like this and to also offer it online so that online players can um, make amends or choose a, an amends option when they finish rounds with other online players in versus, in rank, king of the hill, whatever, uh, uh, whenever mode of the game that they're playing, I think this would really promote more educational rounds where play players could learn from one another more easily. I don't know about you guys, but a lot of times if you get on to a video game and you're learning, um, I for one, when I watch all kinds of fighting games, I'm always absorbing uh, other other players fighting styles I'm always trying to calculate in my mind how I could um, take some of those moves I see and implement them into my own style of gameplay and I think it can become really frustrating when you go up against characters who are constantly spamming who or who might be incredibly good and they come and they just completely demolish you and then you know they don't give you an opportunity to come back and do that salty run back give you the opportunity to come back and have that second round or third go around or fourth go around and I think the amend system would kind of create a, a, a sense of respect within even within online communities for players to offer an amends to other players so that there can be some mutual respect and that other characters can more easily learn from um, characters who are better or see that you know the character or the um, not character but the player that they're fighting um, might have the intentions of teaching or showing more of their moves of how they you know how they fight what their style is the whole amend system I think might break down a lot of invisible walls that you run into when you get online and you come a uh, come across players that are super good and they just demolish you and they just move on and then it kind of leaves you feeling really crappy and really salty and then yes of course that does encourage you to get better but it does create a lot of friction and it does create a lot of uh, negativity you know a lot of negative energy online the amend system could be a way to break down a lot of invisible walls online and to increase more a sense of camaraderie and respect between online players who you know who knows if you fight against someone else who's really good and they just demolish you and you're so sure that they're sitting there laughing at you and mocking you and waiting to teabag you and then they offer you an amends or um, do a make amends uh, gesture at the end of the round that could really change your attitude and help you to understand that you know you might have been fighting against someone who's more of a friend than you thought and I think in the long run that actually helps you to learn and to grow uh, as a better player because you're not committing so much energy to try to get revenge or get back or or to you know or feel that shame and guilt of not being the, as great of a player as you were hoping to be all right guys I'm done I'm up to like 14 minutes on this video I'm gonna have to cut it out do some editing get this all ready hopefully um if you check this video out please make, feel free to discuss this in the comment section or in a future live stream that i may uh do um later on and i hope to see you guys soon um and this is astronaut take care have a good night